How to cook green eggs and ham. Hi guys, welcome back to Chef at Home. My name is James Howe and today we're going to be making a super lean dish. It's a perfect all-rounder for breakfast, dinner and tea and is the perfect combination of healthy and comfort food. But before we get on with the prep, please don't forget to like, share and subscribe. It really helps the channel, it really helps me out and it's doing me a massive favour if you can. And I really do appreciate it. But with that being said, let's get on with the prep. So the first thing we need to do is prepare this gammon. These are around about 200, 250 gram portions. And all I'm going to do is to trim off this excess fat. I'm looking for a nice lean dish, so I'm gonna get rid of as much of that as possible. And I'm just going to slice the gammon in half. So I've got two nice steaks. And when that's done, pop it onto a tray, ready to cook later. Now we're going to move on to our mushrooms. Got some nice button mushrooms here. We pop these stalks out and they can be discarded. And I'm just going to peel the outside of the mushroom. The reason for this is that one, it makes it easier to clean and make sure that I've got all the grit off the mushroom. And two, you don't get a weird texture in the dish that would sometimes look like a hair has landed in it, which in fact is just a gill from the mushroom. This helps stop all that. So I'm just going to slice them, nice chunky slices, not too thin, don't want them to disappear. Still get a little bit of a bite in there. Then just pop them to one side, ready for later. Moving on to our tomatoes. We've got some nice firm ripe cherry tomatoes here and all I'm going to do to these is slice them in half. The tomatoes going into this dish are going to help create an almost sauce like effect as they cook. Which means if I'm conscious of calories I can reduce some extra calories by not putting a ketchup on there. I've already got a tomato sauce built into the dish. Next we have our spinach. Now there's one quality point to notice here and something that often gets forgotten. If there's nothing else you take away from this video today, remember this. You need to remove the stalks from the spinach. They add nothing to the dish, they, they don't taste of anything, but they give a horrible texture. And you might as well be chewing on a tree branch. So all you need to do is fold the spinach over and where the stalk meets the leaf, just pull. That will go all the way up the vein and remove the stalk completely. And once that's done, a quick flash under a cold tap just to wash off any mud that might be on there and then pop to one side for later. One thing we can be doing here while we're preparing everything else is just pop a pan of water on, about two, three inches of water into a pan and about two tablespoons of white vinegar. You can use malt, but I find that our malt vinegar or your chippy vinegar would make the egg look brown so I'll go for a, a clear distilled vinegar and that means the white stays white and it doesn't impact the taste too much. And just crack an egg into a ramekin. Now to begin cooking, our gammon that has been trayed up, a little bit of pepper on there, not too much. There's enough salt in the gammon that it doesn't need anymore, just a little bit of pepper, job's a good one. That's going to go under the grill for around about three to four minutes each side because it's a nice thin steak. If you have thicker steaks, then it's going to need maybe five, six minutes. But if you're unsure, put a probe in there, 75 degrees or over, you're golden. Then put a saute pan onto a medium heat with a little bit of rapeseed oil and go in with your mushrooms and they'll begin to cook slowly. Now, my wife loves them when they're nice and crispy, but they're still only going to take two or three minutes. So just let them get that nice, rich, golden color. Then, add in the tomatoes. Once the tomatoes go in, they'll slowly begin to break down. And as I mentioned before, they'll begin to create that sauce-like effect. And last but not least, add in your spinach and turn off the heat immediately. There'll be enough residual heat in the pan to cook that spinach out gradually. You don't want to overdo it because it will quickly disappear into mush. 
Now turn your attention back to our egg. The water is now at a nice simmering point. I don't want it to boil, I just want a nice gentle bubble. We're going to create a swirl in the pan. In this case I'm going to be using my spider, but you can use a whisk if you want. Or whatever you like. And then just carefully drop the egg into the centre of that whirlpool. That's going to help the white coat the yolk and with the help of the vinegar it's going to firm up the shape very quickly. If you don't have the vinegar in there, the egg is just going to spread out, the white's going to separate from the yolk, it's not going to look nice and by the time the white's cooked the yolk is going to be well overcooked. You want a nice runny egg. Then for a last bit of flourish I'm just going to drop some toast in just because it's breakfast. Nice plate of time boys and girls. Go with our toast on. Lay on the ham. That sauteed spinach, you can see how close that is now to see how saucy that looks already. And finished off. Lovely poached egg and a little bit of pepper. That was a proper breakfast. So there you have it guys, a fantastic breakfast, possibly lunch or dinner. Either way, it's lean, clean and tastes amazing. Next week I'm going to be continuing on with this lean meal focus. I'm going to be looking at a vegetarian dish which is a mushroom fricassee. If you are looking forward to checking that out, hit subscribe and I'll see you next week.